Uh, so welcome to uh, my presentation. Um, I'm going to talk to you about community development. So we call it COMDEV because it's the first three letters of COMDEV. So this is what I'm going to talk to you about today. And I'm going to tell you a bit about what it is and what we do as well. Okay. So before I uh, move on to the presentation, I'm going to tell you a bit about myself. So this is me. This is me from my, my graduation photo just a couple of months ago. Um, uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so um, I have been working in IT for 20, 25 years. Um, I started as a, a developer, and I moved into project management. Um, and uh, funnily enough, I joined Apache not as a developer. When I joined Apache, my first uh, code, my first contribution was a non-coding contribution. So you've heard a few people talk about the things that are important. It's not only about development, it's about maybe uh, responding to people on the mailing list, answering questions, helping with documentation. And my first co uh, contribution to the project that I joined was actually documentation, it was testing, it was reporting bugs. So this is just something to remember. And, you know, we talk about it a lot. And this, and I'm actually, you know, somebody that it's actually happened to, and I am uh, in the pattern today, based on my contribution, not necessarily coding one, but just by participating. So that's very important. So um, I've been involved with the ASF since uh, 2008, and initially I was in my own project, so one project. I didn't really know very much about ComDev or community development, and it was only later that I found out about ComDev. So you're really lucky that you're hearing about ComDev now, because I did, it took me a couple of years before even, I even realized it existed at the ASF. So this is why I'm really, really sort of uh, passionate about making sure that people know about it. So this is. So what I'm going to cover uh, in this talk is to give you a bit of an overview about what ComDev is, uh, what we actually do as part of ComDev, um, why we have it at the ASF. You know, you, you think about, you know, hold on, we've got lots and lots of projects. Why do we need ComDev? Why do we need community development? So just talking a bit about um, what resources we have available. I know Joan has mentioned some of them, but I'll go over. We have a few more, so I just wanted to talk a little bit about that. And I actually want to make you do some work as well, because one of the reasons we're here is to get some feedback from you too, because we want to be able to understand uh, people that are interested in contributing to open source. And, you know, what are their requirements? What are their needs? How would we communicate? Or how would you like us to communicate? How, what is the best way for us to engage with you? So I'm going to let you guys do some work as well. So later on, I'll be asking for some feedback from you. So start thinking about. So, uh, so let's start. So what is ComDev? So as I mentioned, ComDev is uh, short for community development. Um, and you can find the community development site. I think uh, uh, Joan showed it in her presentation, but you can find it at the URL here. And the, the thing about ComDev is that it's one of these, it's a, it's a Apache project, but it's an Apache project that's not focused on generating, generating code. Now, when people think about Apache, they think about the web server, they think about, I don't know, Tomcat, they think about Beam, they think about Hadoop, Flink, all these uh, projects that are, big data, they think about source and releases. They don't think about projects that are not generating code. Now, I suppose technically we do have some sort of tools that are coding, but essentially the project wasn't created to generate any releases of code. Tools have come by as a result of some of the work that we've been doing. So one of the things we do is we play a really, really uh, big role in collaboration. So uh, I mentioned before that when I started the ASF, I was involved in, with one project called uh, OFBiz. Uh, it's like an, uh, an uh, open source ERP. You under, you, I don't know if you've been involved with, uh, have heard of SAP or things like this. It's like an open source version of this where it's called modular and whatever. So I became involved with that project. And for at least two or three years, I was... Uh, a, in, involved in that project and didn't realize or didn't really uh, participate with any other projects outside of, of that. And, and, that, and, and that's okay, 
But I think also as well, one of the things is that because we have so many projects, sometimes there's a lot of common things that come up in the project. And so it's nice to have a central place to be able to deal with those. And that's what one of the things that ComDev does. We also uh, play a, a big role in attracting uh, or trying to attract uh, new contributors, which is why one of the reasons we're here at this event, because one of the, one of the things that ComDev does is uh, engage with, uh, with people, external uh, to the ASF, to try and understand how we can attract more uh, participants. We also have an external role, and I touched on that briefly, in the sense that because we have so many projects, sometimes being able to try and coordinate between them, it's, it's, it's difficult. So we have ComDev as a, a central place where we can discuss and do things that are um, beneficial to all the project. And I'll give you some examples of that a bit later on. So that's our, the, the, the tour. So what is community development? So what we do is uh, provide resources and information for, uh, for our project community. And that, in that, those resources and information uh, is around uh, tool, it's around uh, getting started, it's around guide, it's around uh, uh, practices, FAQs, things online that people can actually consume and easy, uh, easily navigate their way. We also uh, support and help uh, communities. So uh, as an example, um, let me give you an example of, of what we've done. Um, we, the, I mentioned the project, the ASF is quite a larger organization and we have, all, we have quite a lot of committers. I think we have 7,000 or so committers. And somebody uh, said, you know, hey, you know, I'm involved with the ASF. I go to uh, meetups. Wouldn't it be nice if I could have a little business card with my Apache ID and Apache, Apache Feather because I could give out to people. I mean, while at these meetups, so they, you know, if they need to contact me. Because remember, one of the things we, we talk about is that um, you, your involvement in Apache is as an individual, not as a, a representative of your company. So if you wanted to have your own Apache business card, you know, when you go for a meetup and, and hand that out, that was something that somebody brought up. And community development said, well, okay, let's run with this. Let's see how many other projects were inter involved, interested in doing this. And there was quite a lot that thought it was a really, really good idea. So now we've implemented uh, a system where if anybody from an Apache project, whether they're a committer or not, any contributor wants to uh, an Apache business card. So if you participate in an Apache project and you want an Apache business card, you can get some. So, and, and, and this is, this is so, just some, an example of what ComDev did at a, a project level, uh, rather than just a, an individual, you know, project. So uh, that, was, that was just something. Um, and we also try and focus on finding ways to help uh, communities grow. Because we have uh, a lot of projects coming into Apache in a, a, on, a, on a regular basis. And uh, essentially, they start off fairly, you know, fairly stable, very small, or whatever. And our focus is mainly about making sure that the communities grow they go out and promote themselves. People understand uh, how they can contribute. Uh, people understand uh, that it's not only the coding that uh, is important. So why is uh, community development so important to open source communities? Now, uh, this was what I mentioned before. So generally, projects start for a reason. Open source start, projects start for a reason. And it may be that it's around a, a, a core group of contributors or a company or a mixture of companies. And they need some support to grow. If you've been working together in a team to, uh, for, for a while, you may not have the, 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 uh, the skills or the, the knowledge of how to go out and actually go and uh, you know, get the other people interested in your project. And so we help that. Open source is also really uh, about sharing and being open. And sharing the workload is a great way of showing, uh, of demonstrating the open source uh, concept. Um, so, you know, people, one of the things about uh, open source is that it's uh, the sustainability part of it is about making sure that it can, it can uh, 
uh, move on into the future, can su sustain itself in the future. And what I mean here is that if you look at, for example, uh, the Apache first project, the web server, that was created, what, 20, 20 or so years ago? The people that are working on the web server today are not the people that were working on it 20 years ago. Okay, there may be a, a couple of them that are still there. But what I'm saying is that if you, want, if you get a, a project that's an open source project, you may not want to be working on it forever. It might be, hey, you know, I've got, I want to work on it for maybe a couple of years, but then I want other people to come in and work on it and contribute and, and, and be the people that, that, that uh, provide uh, the, the support for it. So part of it is by sharing that workload, it means that that actually frees you up. If you want to go and pursue some, another project, then you're not bound to a particular project forever. And that's really, really important. And that's one of the things about Apache is that we are really key about making our projects last a long time. And the way we do that is by pulling in new people so that people, other people that have been involved with the project can roll off if they want to, and other people can, can take their place. And so as that goes, moves into the future, the project just carries on. Like I say, the web server, 20, 20 years old, 20 plus years old, and still going. So the, the key here is that I, I put here the con contributors, the missing link, because I think that there are lots and lots of open source projects out there. I'm not, not only Apache. I mean, there's lots of open source foundations. So we have lots and lots of projects. And we have lots and lots of people interested in contributing to these projects, but they're held up for some reason. And here are some of the reasons that I think that people uh, maybe don't contribute to uh, open source projects. You know, maybe they don't even realize they can contribute to it. People that use software, you think, okay, yeah, I'm using, I don't know, um, Apache Beam, or I'm using Hadoop, or I'm using whatever. Um, the people that created it, you know, maybe they're a lot smarter than me or whatever. I can't contribute. What can I contribute? This software works now. You know, you can contribute. The people that wrote it were just like you, you know? It, ah, right, I'm interested in doing something. What else can I put, to, what, how can we put this together? How can we work together to provide something? And people don't know how to contribute. So it's, first of all, they don't know if they, you know, that the look, people are looking to contribute and then they don't know how. So this is why uh, Joan's talk was really important showing people, you know, on the, on the Apache project sites, there are places that are specifically designed to show people how to contribute and where to contribute. Uh, and so people may not even know where to find out the information or who to ask. Um, and they only think that the developers can contribute, which is not the case. So one of the things about ComDev is that if you, if you don't know what to do, then you can actually if you don't know what project to, do, to, to work on or if you don't know how to start, you can actually contact Comdev and Comdev uh, will help. So we have emails from people on our maybe mailing list saying, oh, I'm a, I'm a Java developer. Can I, um, what, what do you recommend? And we show them projects at apache.org. You put in Java as a selection and you can have a look and see what projects come up and which one you like. We also had, uh, I think uh, it's, I think we had a, like a help wanted site as well, where once again, you can put in uh, your details. You can say, I'll maybe show this a bit later. Put in the details. I want to help with documentation. I want to help with programming. I want to do some uh, marketing. I want to help with websites because some of the Apache websites maybe look a little bit old, as somebody said earlier. Um, then you can, you can sign up to say, hey, I can do help with that. I can do something on that. And, how, and the, I think the thing here is, However small you think your contribution is, it all counts. It's like if you, you, you're walking up, walking up a mountain, you walk it a step at a time. You know, a contribution is a step. It doesn't have to be a huge step. It can just be a little step, but it's still a step. And that's key. So projects are looking for you. The projects are looking for you. Okay. So community development at the ASF. So um, we have a lot of 
projects. I think uh, we I think we we saw uh, 350 plus was uh, the number. Uh, so we have it as a central community development. We have it as a central place to uh, have information. We have some tools, processes. We provide guides. Um, we also do a lot of coordination. And one of the things that was mentioned earlier was around Google Summer of Code. So if you think about it right, we have the 300 odd projects, right? And we have Google Summer of Code. So if, imagine if you uh, work with 350, whatever it is, individual projects as a, at once. It's a, 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 a sort of nightmare. So what we do as community development is we say, right, okay, all the projects that are interested in, in contributing to or have any task for Google or Summer of Code, give us, your, give us your list. We can have advertise that out. People who are interested in, people like yourselves that might be interested in participating in, as a, a Google Summer of Code uh, student or whatever, then can look at the, uh, the details and the, the, the projects. And then we manage the whole process with Google. With the, um, we do the follow-up and we do the uh, details with all the projects. So we do the administration within the ASF of uh, the Google Summer of Code for all the ASF project. This is one of the, what I say, where it's quite good that we uh, have a centralized process because we have so many projects doing the same thing. One of the things that we did uh, fairly recently was uh, that some of the projects were saying, well, um, I don't know where my logo is. And so uh, we need to use it on some uh, promotion or our website or whatever. So what, what uh, Comdev did was, okay, let's put together a, a central repository where it's easy for all the projects to find their logos. And we put this repository together in several form with several formats. So if anybody needs a logo from an Apache project, then they just go to the website, they can download the graphic, it's there. Um, we've also done uh, some uh, brochures. So we when we go out to events, I'll talk about events in a bit. Um, when we go out to events, we have a lot of information around the Apache Software Foundation. And originally, we only had the brochures in English. So when we went to France or went to Spain or went to Italy doing meetups, we sort of went, hold on, actually, it makes sense for us to get some translations of this because that's the, that's the language where we, we're going. So now, so we've started, uh, a, we have a little repository where we have our, our brochure. We've asked for people to help participate. Hey, can you help us translate this, this, this brochure into your language? So we have it in uh, Spanish, Italian, Catalan. We have it in uh, uh, um, uh, Chinese. We have it in Japanese. We have it in German. We have it, you see what I mean? So, I think Joan mentioned one of the one of the sites, the Translate at Apache. You know, there's lots and lots of languages that we haven't got uh, uh, documentation in. So if you ha if you're one of these spe these special people that have an additional language, then yeah, that is a great contribution to to open source. Um, so yeah, stickers. Oh yeah, one of the things that we have as well. I think I had a few stick Apache stickers out there, um, but they've gone. One of the things that we do do as well is we coordinate a lot of the events and the sto and, and stickers and things for the events. So if you're holding like a little uh, meetup or uh, or something like that, uh, then we also provide uh, services to projects for that. So um, I, uh, this has been mentioned probably quite a while, quite a few times in the talks this afternoon. Is that our main communication medium is the mailing list. And our mailing list is uh, dev at community.apache.org. And what I'm going to do, actually, is actually pop onto a mailing list, show you the communication that goes on there, to give you an idea of what it's like. So, uh, so here, you can, have, you can see some of the conversations that uh, we've had on uh, on uh, on the uh, the mailing list so for example hold on you know we've got we maintain a list of meetups that are related to apache projects so if people want to go to a meetup they can see uh, search on the city and whatever and see and somebody's come back and said hey look 
the link's not up to date. Please, can somebody fix it? We've, um, we're, we've, got, we've just had ApacheCon uh, in Las Vegas. We just finished that. And we've got another ApacheCon uh, happening in, in Berlin in a few weeks. And so one of the things that we want is uh, people to help us on the booth to sort of uh, like, you know, you know, give out stuff, help with the registration, uh, um, provide uh, information, coordination. And so we put out a, a message and say, hey, you know, is there anybody that can help me or help us on the Apache booth during the event? We get responses. These are the responses we get. Hey, yes, we can do it. Yeah. I'll, let me just, oh. yeah, yeah. I just, want, just wanted to show uh, some of the event. Right there. So you can see uh, the responses of the people that come back. Yes, hey, I'm, I'm free. And it's not like people need to spend the whole day. If you, can, if you can spend 30 minutes on the booth talking to somebody, that's fine. If you can spend, you know, if you, if you have more time, an hour or whatever, and you can spend, oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. So I think one of the key thing here is that, you know, open source is your pace. You can decide what, what pace you want to contribute at. As long as you, you know, if you find something that's interesting, you want to contribute. I'm just going to jump back. Sorry. Right, so um, events and participation. I've got a, maybe five minutes. To, five minutes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah or oh, five minutes. Okay. Events and participation. So um, one of the things that we, re we do uh, is events like this. Uh, we do ApacheCon, which are our normal Apache conferences, but we also do uh, sort of local roadshows as well. So this, the, the ApacheCon is more like a three, four day event, a uh, big event where we have. But the road shows are more local, sort of one to two days, where we try and uh, attract or do uh, an event in a, in a small place. Um, what we also do is third-party events, so like this, where we've been invited to come along and, and speak and talk to you about Apache. Uh, sometimes we go to an event where we've given a booth, where we can uh, give away sort of uh, stickers and, and information and, and T-shirts and things like this and talk to people. or um, you know. And the essential thing is that if you want us to participate, then just please ask. I mean, th people think, you know, hey, you know, the Apache Software Foundation, maybe, you know, this. But I think the, the, if you want to find out anything, if you want to do a meetup, if you, if you want uh, people to come and speak or whatever at an event, then just ask. We'll look to see whether we have people in that area or people are available to come along and, and support the meeting. We've run uh, webinars and things, uh, spoken on webinars for people as well um, that were interested in finding out about Apache and how we work. So that is also an option. So if, you, if you're interested in, in getting Apache at an event or uh, wanting to speak or you want to have a, a particular topic that you want us to talk about, then please ask. That's, that's all you need to do.